everybody, welcome back to another grilling video. And today we are gonna be cooking something on the Blackstone flat top griddle. And I know it sounds simple, but it's gonna be this delicious, cheesy cheeseburger. Really, really simply made with a lot of cheese on it. It's gonna have pickles, ketchup, and mayo on it. That's really it. Let me show you how we go ahead and prep it. Now this really is a simple recipe. We have here one pound of ground beef chuck. We're using an 80-20 mix. That's 80% meat, 20% um, fat. Now, I will say for burgers, sometimes a 70-30 is even better, but we wanna make sure that these stay the size of the buns or a little bit larger. So I went ahead and used just a little bit less, um, little bit less fat in this one. We'll break this apart. And then this is gonna be made very simply. All we're gonna put in this is a little bit of ground black pepper. And while that's going, we'll go ahead and put in some ground sea salt. If you're interested in those, I'll put a link down in the description. They're really inexpensive, but they're really simple to use, just battery operated. Though, I use rechargeable batteries because they each take six AAA batteries. <laughs> it's pretty unbelievable. All right, we're just gonna mix this up. And again, not a whole lot. I don't wanna turn this into a mush. I just wanna get these things um, packaged up. This is one pound, so I'm gonna go ahead and do, um, essentially I want these to be doubles. We're gonna have the cheese between them. So I have here about three ounces or so in this particular ball, and we're gonna just make a couple of these. Over here, yeah, right here. Hey, do me a favor. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, and if you wanna see more like it, subscribe to the channel and click on that little bell notification so you get notified of new videos. Thanks. All right. So we've just packed these into about six, two and a half ounce or so of these little um, meatball shaped ones. And again, I'm not packing them a whole lot, just a little bit, because as I press them, I don't want them to fall apart and just turn into ground beef. I want them to be nice and thin, crispy edge. They'll cook in a matter of minutes. So let's go ahead and get our, our buns ready because we gotta get those ready to toast while the meat's going. And we'll get our cheese pulled out and all ready to go on the Blackstone. All right, so we have our two far left burners on and we have the ones on the right off. This is where we'll put things to warm up and to just sort of melt cheese if we need to do that. We have those over there on a fairly low temperature. If you look down at them, you'll notice they're at about 6.30 or seven o'clock. That's where the dials are sitting, kind of facing down and a little bit up. Now, a little bit up this way. Um, the reality is I just temperature checked this and it's already like at 420 degrees. And obviously that's gonna cool down a little bit as we put our stuff on, but as you can, as you can imagine, it's gonna cook fast. So we're ready to go. I have our hamburger buns right here already buttered and I have our um, little, little balls that we'll be popping down on the grill and smashing those down so that they're nice and thin. And I have the cheese already opened up and ready to go. I'm just using simple Kraft American um, slices. Now, I know it's not the best cheese, if you will, but you know what it is? awesome for melting and it's going to turn into this wonderful gooey sort of mess that we want in this. All right, so let's go ahead and pop this on. I'll boom the camera over here so you can see it better. All right, because this is an 80-20 mix, we're going to do just a little bit of oil down here. I'm just using olive oil. You can use any kind of cooking oil. It would be fine. And you can see how hot that is already. Just going to run this around a little bit and smooth it out nice and simply. We're going to pop this one down on there. Pop that one down on there. And pop this guy on here. Now, what we want to do is we want to wait for it to start to brown. That's exactly when we want to smash these. Take this and push it right down. Now again, we're going nice and thin and we're going to slide it off like that. We slide it to the side and they come off a little easier. There we go. Now, I like to salt and pepper these guys just a little bit here on the griddle. I'm also a fan of getting our buns going so that they are ready to go when the burgers are done. Getting close. Yeah, look at that. That's exactly what we want to see right there. We'll pop these over there onto our our nice cooler side. That one needs to go a little bit more. A little bit more. Just a tad bit more on this guy too. All right, let's go ahead and get these guys flipped uh, yet. Not quite yet, we're close. Now they're still cooking down, so I will tell you, I am just about at the stage where I don't want it to get too much smaller, but tis what it is, as they say. All right, I'm gonna flip this guy and then I'm gonna give these patties a smush. 
before we add our cheese to them. And the heat comes through with that, so be careful. Slice of cheese. And if you're using these American singles, be very careful. They will absolutely um, get soft and very easy to tear sitting outside in the heat. Yeah, these are looking good. Look at that. Now, time to assemble. We're going to put this guy down, get this nice cheesy mess right there. Pop it right on, get our bun, close that guy right up. That is a burger. Take our bun, put it down, patty on, another patty on. Get this guy moved over here for a minute. Now is the time, get those guys put right down. Just gonna cook them for a moment. Go ahead and assemble this double. Got our onion on there, a couple of pickles, and we'll get our top right on that guy. Look at that thing. Holy Hannah, does that look good. All right, with that, folks, it's time to give this guy a shot. All right, bon appetit. Hopefully it's good. Is it as good as it looks? I'm going to go dip my Hope you guys enjoyed this unbelievably delicious, cheesy burger. Bye, y'all. Safe and happy grilling. Mm -hmm.